Welcome to Jano Software. In this video, we are going to see the few features which are basically asked by the end user or the business owner. So what we are going to do is we are going to refer the questions asked by the business account and then we are going to walk through the answers and try to resolve uh, their queries. So these are the typical questions uh, asked by many customers. So what we have done in Genom software we have added FAQ section that is the frequently asked questions where you can get answers for the FAQs. Now so let's take a look what are those questions and the answers. So here the first question is unable to upload the documents screenshot attached. Okay. Now, there are two possibilities when you, uh, when you are not able to upload the documents. One, you did not purchase the software, but in this case, I'm very sure that you have purchased the software. So second possibility that there may be some changes done in document upload feature and hence you need to clear a cache to to upload the documents and view the documents. So what are those features? Here, whenever there is a change done in JNM software, a message is circulated to clear the uh, browser cache. Now where is that located? Let's take a look. You can go in FAQ, click FAQs. Now here, what you can do is, you can click cache and search answer you can click on this and question and then you'll get the steps how to clear the browser cache so you can try clear the browser cache and then try it if still it doesn't work then just whatsapp to jnm software and we can take a look We can move to next question. That is the whole HR management option. Okay. So HR management option, it is in HR management and then click here, you will get multiple options. And then we can click employee list. Employee list is the section where you can create employees okay now in this case what you can do is you can add all the details of employees and then uh, click save and one important thing login only on register IMEA devices what we have done here that uh, so once you give the login to your system to your staff then staff you want to restrict I mean there, there is a possibility that your staff can access uh, your data from um, any browser, any mobile or any device. So you want to restrict and what you want to do is uh, your business owner decides that every staff should be given a company provided mobile and that should be restricted or maybe only the company uh, desktop and the staff should not be in position to log in uh, from outside world. So what you can do is you can click here login only on register IMEA devices and then click save. Now once you select here and click save it means your staff will only be in position to log in from the registered device. Now where to register that device? So to register the device you have to go in HR management and uh, sorry it's in master setup and device registration so here you have to enter the uh, device from where the staff is going to log in and click save okay so then your staff will be in position to log in only from that device not from any other uh, device the next HR management 
employee list we understood that employees we create now employee creation is very important so that using employees you can give access to your employees and they can log in from their uh, from their devices and uh, use this system now next important thing is by default zero secure by default zero access is given okay now if you want to give any access then you'll have to go hr management access control list now here you can select the staff and from here you can select the access now there are more than 150 permission layers given here for example create customer edit customer delete customer create loan delete loan create account delete account there's so many uh, features here so what you can do you can select stuff select a permission and add use add to user access so what will happen when your staff will access uh, using their login then they will be in position to view only the permissions provided by you okay next we are going to see salary pay salary statement attendance record apply leaves leave summary these are the features which will which are not yet included so just consult genome software so that will explain how to activate these features okay but this these are mostly related to the uh, the staff when they are going to log in uh, attending the cap uh, capturing the attendance and everything is done through mobile no need to have your a different hr uh, software or uh, hr payroll software because uh, everything is captured through mobile your attendance is captured from there your staff can apply for leave and then the leave is uh, uh, accordingly adjusted in, in your salary pay and other stuff okay now audit log is very important audit log is something you want to know like who has accessed when so you can just check here take a look and then you can see how many times the staff logged in and other details so this is very useful if you want to cross verify like uh, who has logged in when so for in that case okay so this is uh, all about hr management the features i as i mentioned salary pay to leave summary that maybe i'll capture in some other video okay now third question unable to understand create group in customer option okay now group management let's take a look where is the group management here it is group management okay if i click group management then create group create member add member to group set member account plan auction and price bid auction list group summary these are all features related to a group finance or kind of like a cheat fund business where auction will have happen and then uh, it can be used in typical like uh, uh, kind of like a BC, BC business so uh, but related to NBFCs or related to the microfinance create group is uh, that is what very important okay now once you click create group you have to enter the group name and whom do you want to assign that group now why group creation is required because let's say if you are dealing with microfinance we are kind of like a daily collection weekly collection okay and there is a need that you want to visit to customer location for collection okay so in that case what will happen you have to create customer and here select group okay so that specific customer will be linked to that group let's say you have thousand customers and you have 10 staff members okay now obviously i don't know how generally it is done currently maybe using excel or uh, using paperwork but if you use this system then in this system as i mentioned like you have 1000 customers and 10 staff so what you can do is you can create 10 groups one group per staff and add 100 customers in one group and then assign one group group to one staff so that when staff will log in to the system they will only see 100 customers 
when they visit to the customer location they can see the their assigned group and they they can basically do the collection and then entire system will work accordingly this is useful mostly the cases where like uh, in case of field collection okay now let me explain where to do the list assignment so assuming that you have created group you have created customer you have linked customer to group you have created staff so i assume all these things are done now you have to go in field collection and list assignment okay in list assignment what you can do is you can select a group okay let's say i select north customer and then select staff and then assign so what will happen when the specific staff will log in they will see north customers okay now let's say in north customer there are 100 uh, in north customer group there are 100 customers okay but the due is today's due is only for let's say 75 customers so when staff will log in they will only see 75 customers they will not see like all 100 customers because it is going to show only the due report now for staff to see that report you have to go in uh, field collection and then give uh, sorry you will have to go in hr management access control list and you will have to give loan collection list access to that specific staff okay now what is skipped here now skipped is something let's say your staff is visiting the customer customer is not available to their place so what will happen the staff will mark that customer as a skipped there is an option in uh, in in your loan collection list there is option that receive or skip so if customer is available and whatever amount they are going to give just enter amount and click receive if customer is not available then just keep that and that record will move to move from loan collection list to loan skip list okay now what you can do is let's say you are as, as i mentioned 10 staffs and visiting to 1000 customers 100 per staff and almost out of that let's say 100 customers not available to their location so what will do all those 100 customers will come in loan skip list now what you can do in list assignment select uh the what you can do is uh you no need to provide this list assignment directly what you can do is give access to specific staff about loan loan skip list and they then they will directly go uh and access that if you want to give a specific let me see here okay you can select a customer group here and select the staff and skip so they will only see that those skip list so generally what happens you can select all the groups select one specific staff and give assign that list to uh, the staff assign the skip list to the staff okay so that's all about field collection we have also one um, dedicated demo to video to explain the field collection so you can take a look there next question don't understand loan skip list okay that is what uh, i have just explained about uh, loan skip list now how will i get collection report means to say that the masters of collection report option okay now if you are logged in as staff then you will have to ask your owner or business uh, account owner to provide you access to collection report okay now where is that collection report you can go here and then collection report okay collection report now there are like uh, five reports here but if you are not able to see this then you have to ask your uh, concerned person to give you access from hr management and access control list okay once you get the access just relog in then you will see those reports now daily collection is the report where you, uh, the collection done by all your staff members you can see that in fact if customer visiting to your office or paying through digital payment you can see all that collection here collection by staff specific it is like distributed by staff 
now what will happen in this report whenever amount is collected uh, on like uh, uh, at field then it will go in unverified you will have to once that is handed over to you then uh, you can mark it as verified okay so unverified verified what is the difference that uh, unverified amount will not flow in your balance sheet and other business summaries whereas verified amount will be shown there okay now one important thing as we are talking about like hand hand over amount from one person to other we have one option here in accounting you will have to give this my transaction access to everyone every star because what will happen in this case as soon as they do the collection they will see that data here how much they have collected okay and once they hand over the amount they will have to go cash hand over entry and they will have to make that entry so that it is system recorded sometimes what will happen let's say you have 25 staff members now everyone give you like one or the other amount right then in that case you'll have to either make entry in paper and do the calculation the better way is just ask them to make that entry in their system so that you'll see those entries and then you just accept it okay so what will happen as soon as you get the cash you accept it so no need to maintain any paper and at the same time your business owner will also see the same uh, information uh, uh, from uh, their mobile okay <clears throat> sorry so we are talking about the collection reports now daily collection collection by staff collection by month collection by day collection details now these are all related to the collection you can just go and explore different options here okay i just focused on verify and verify because that's how the amount will flow in the system okay and okay let's take a look next question device registration form is for the users of the software customers employ device registration as i explained in device registr registration it is in master master setup and device registration this is only for your staff so that they can access from the registered mobiles or laptops or computers okay now how to get imei code uh, you can just search faq let me see if uh, faq has that imei okay so you here it is so this is explained actually here now what you can do you can follow this step and basically uh, access it okay in case you are searching any question uh, searching for an answer and you don't find that you can submit this so that on a regular period we can just provide you the answer for that okay so that's all uh, about uh, device registration that is only for staff not for customer customer can log in from any system and they can uh, make the payment using digital payment and then it can get automatically flowing to your system okay unable to add stock or create product unable to add stock or create product now stock and product uh, okay now let me explain that here this is the stock you can add create and you can just enter name and then say save okay so that way uh, the stock entry will come here now what is the use of this stock where it will be used now it will be used when you create a loan under a gold loan category okay so let's see where it is i just search customer and i can click loan and here if i select gold 
then ornament details i will get diamond ring and gold ring i select here gold diamond ring let's say one quantity gross weight is 10 and purity purity is let's say 90 percent and loan percent i want to give like uh, 50 percent so according to this calculation valuation is 11 250 i click add to draft and then i enter like let's say amount and all details okay so i'm not going to create loan and all that stuff because uh, that is explained in many other videos okay so that's the use of stock you can create stock from stock menu okay and that will be used when you create the loan okay next uh, also prepare please share a full fledged demo for the software okay now uh, there are uh, many videos we have created uh, basically just whatsapp to Joinum software and uh, one of our team members will share the list of videos explaining the the software okay all right thank you so much for watching this video and uh, and one important thing that you can also subscribe Joinum software channel youtube channel so that whenever we create a new video automatically notification will be sent to you so whenever we add any new feature we prepare a video and we'll share it so please subscribe the channel all right thank you so much have a great day